Hello and welcome guys and welcome to this vlog and yes I am aware you are about to start one of the largest subjects of your syllabus which is DT IDT in syllabus 2016 this particular subject was for 200 marks 100 marks IDT separate 100 marks DT separate in syllabus 2022 it has been shrinked to 100 marks but let me reiterate or let me highlight that content has not been shrinked at all there is no compromise on the content of both the subjects but yes the marks have been shrinked to 50. Now you are wondering sir, um, such a lengthy subject, uh, how are we going to finish it in a short span of time? What are the smart techniques that we can employ uh, using some ABC analysis so that we can in a very short span of time cover both the subjects because guys obviously you have three more subjects to do okay. This is not the only subject that is coming in your examination, this is just 100 marks. 300 marks belong to three other subjects. I know those three subjects content wise are uh, little less than uh, DT, IDT, but still you want time to do those subjects as well. So you're wondering, you're confused, sir. Uh, so many lectures, so many things to do in DT, IDT. How should we curtail it or content in a, in a small span of time? In this particular video, I'm going to uh, discuss about certain smart techniques. I'll be discussing uh, about some ABC analysis, some smart techniques, some, um, uh, you know, past examination paper analysis that I've done using which you can actually shrink your time span required to study these two subjects. Yes guys, it's always, always, always suggested that you complete the entire syllabus before appearing in the examination because it's a professional examination. Um, the past trends sometimes might not be repeated. So it's always suggested to complete the entire syllabus and I'm suggesting the same. It's just that I'm asking you to focus on some important chapters a little more than other chapters. That's the only difference that I'm suggesting in this particular video. This particular video, um, Please do not construe it as Nikhil sir is telling some important chapters of DT, IDT. We will do only these chapters. We won't do any other chapter. So um, that conclusion should not be drawn by you. That, that is a false. So guys, what I've done is I have analyzed past uh, 10 attempts, uh, uh, you know, uh, papers and I've culled out, uh, I've compiled how many marks does each sub uh, chapter contains in the past examination so that I can do an ABC analysis which means that if you have 19 chapters in DT I'll tell you to do certain chapters few chapters with absolutely huge vigor with absolutely huge um, uh, you know force and employer time on these particular chapters and for other chapters you can lie a little low which means that don't leave them but do them quickly okay don't spend a lot of time on them uh, rush on the concepts don't 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 stick around on those concepts you can rush on those concepts because those chapters are little um, uh, less important as compared to other chapters now if you are watching this video at a stage where your exams are just one month away or your exams are just um, uh, quite a few months away and you are panicking that I won't be able to uh, you know complete all the chapters then I suggested that the C category chapters can be left also but it is a professional exam I'm reiterating it's never advisable to leave even single chapter yes you can do it quickly that can be done but don't leave any chapter but if if push comes to the sure and you are actually um, uh, walking on a thin line uh, at this point in time then guys see category chapters you can absolutely so talking about direct taxation first guys direct taxation you have 19 chapters in your syllabus these 19 chapters are um, uh, you know coming in the examination and the frequency with which they are coming in the examination the marks aggregate marks um, which are dedicated to these chapters are written in front of them based on the marks uh, which this particular which any chapter commands in the um, uh, earlier examination I have marked these uh, these chapters as A, B and C alright now what are the key important chapters which are there in your syllabus for direct taxation which you should pick up first finish them first complete all the charts all the things which are given in these particular chapter first because these chapters are the core these chapters are the most important chapters of your syllabus first one is salaries of course this is the most important chapter of your syllabus guys salaries is to be completed um, uh, immediately of course before starting any of the chapters you must uh, uh, watch the lectures on basics uh, doesn't come in the examination much but unless until you uh, learn about basics you won't be able to um, uh, learn about the other uh, chapters very well so start with basics directly jump on to residential status residential status is a B category chapter leave agriculture income and exempt income leave as in defer for future leave doesn't mean don't do it 
because I know you are very very smart. I'm 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 aware. You will say, Nikhil sir said leave agriculture chapter. No, I'm saying defer it to a later stage. Okay. Uh, focus on salaries. Okay, residential status, salaries. Um, yes, the the five heads are definitely important after residential status. Five heads are very very important. Out of the five heads itself, guys, salaries and PGBP. These two chapters are very 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 important. You cannot afford to. Uh, leave any stone unturned in these two chapters. So salaries, PGBP, you should complete first. House property, income from other uh, sources, you can complete at a later point in time. And capital gains is definitely an important chapter. But one important thing about capital gain is, guys, um, uh, the initial part of the chapter, which contains generic provision of capital gains, those provisions you must do. But there are certain pro provisions in your book, like uh, capital gain in case of amalgamation. Capital gain in case of compulsory acquisition of um, uh, property, capital gain in case of bonus shares, capital gain in case of rights issue. So these specific capital gains, you can actually quickly wind them up in a, in a, in a, in a rush, okay? In a very uh, 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 quick manner. Don't employ too much time on those specific capital gains because they seldom come in the examination. The questions which come in the examination for capital gains are generic questions which will um, uh, be the initial part of a capital gain chapter or the exemptions or deductions. That's it. All right. So study capital gain chapters smartly because it's a lengthy chapter, but the kind of content which comes in the examination um, that is very specific. So capital gains, salary, house property, capital gain, PGP, income from other sources. These are the key five heads are the key which you need to complete uh, at the very first instance. All right. Then income from other sources, set off and carry forward another B category chapter, which uh, you should do. Very, very important. Then TDS. All right. There's, there, there are questions from TDS which are coming in the examination regularly. Even questions come from deductions. Deduction chapter is also important, although um, seldom it comes. But guys, deduction also you should keep in B category. Um, although uh, in with respect to marks, it is categorized as C. But still, I would uh, urge you to do deduction chapter equally in an important manner. All right. Then TDS. All right. Returns and PAN. Returns and PAN. Assessment procedures and intimation. So these are the category B chapters. So these are the important chapters out of all the chapters. These are the important chapters which you have to do. Now talking about one imp important chapter guys. Um, this is a chapter taxation of various persons or it will be named as taxation of individuals. As this chapter is definitely an important chapter because um, again and again either a question of AMT or any other um, kind of question is asked from this particular chapter. So again a, a category chapter. So to give you an uh, idea guys out of 19 chapters the, the A category chapters are only 1, 2, 3, 4. Out of 19, only 4 chapters are A category chapters, which means if you do only these 4 chapters, if you do only these 4 chapters, you will get a 40. Yes, that's the conclusion that I'm drawing. If you do only these 4 chapters, you'll get a 40. But guys, we cannot take a risk, okay? Because uh, I'm saying that if you do these chapters, you'll get a 40. But what if you make a mistake of two marks, five marks or four marks in these chapters as well? You'll be, uh, uh, you'll be, um, you know, uh, your, your result will be not up to the mark. So do not take this chance. Uh, the best bet you can take is do A and B chapters equally well. A category and B category chapters are to be done superbly. If you finish A and B category chapters, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Out of 19, if you do 11 chapters well, then I'm very, very sure and very, very relaxed that you're going to score more than 16. Indeed. But I'm not saying leave the C category chapters. I'm not saying that because, guys, even um, uh, in the C category chapters, if, if a very small and easy question comes in the examination, why to lose marks in that also? So just quickly brush through the C category chapter. Don't employ a lot of time on C category chapters. Don't go into depth of C category chapters. That is the idea which I'm trying to give you um, uh, using this um, uh, scheme of colors which is in front of you. All right. So this particular analysis has been demonstrated in this graph as well. Uh, nothing new. Uh, the thing that I've discussed over there that is demonstrated through this graph also. All the chapters are listed. 19 chapters are there in your syllabus. And uh, this is how you should prioritize Direct taxation. Now coming on to indirect taxation. Now let me tell you one very important thing. Before starting DT, complete your IDT. IDT is relatively smaller in terms of length. 
and it has got equal weightage uh, as compared to DT. So the ROI, the return on investment which you will get in IDT is far better than what you will get in DT because it's shorter. Okay, I'll tell you, um, you know, in IDT only 40 hours of studies, 40, okay, 60 hours of studies in IDT is going to get you 40 out of 50. 60 hours of study in IDT is going to get you 40 out of 50. That is how um, the IT, IDT's content is um, uh, no, um, discussed in your syllabus. That is uh, how it is there. So, complete IDT first. Don't, uh, there is no problem in starting with DT also. Uh, that's not a problem, okay. But I always suggest my student to start with IDT first and then move on to DT so that you are uh, in a comfort zone that yes, I've covered 50% of the syllabus. And IDT is relatively shorter. Uh, IDT is relatively shorter. So start with IDT, then move on to DT. That's my um, recommendation to you. But even if you do otherwise, no problems at all. To each his own, if you want to complete DT first, because some students will tell me, sir, we would like to complete the difficult part first and then come on to the easier part. Your choice, guys. Your choice. Your choice. That can also be done. You want to complete the difficult part first or we are going to complete the lengthier part first and then come to the easier one. Your choice, guys. Okay. Now, coming on to IDT. Guys, in itself, the course, the syllabus of IDT is quite small. Um, it's not as vast as DT. Uh, but yes, the, the concentration of marks lies only in these six chapters. There are six chapters and the entire concentration of marks are lying in this, these six chapters only. These six chapters are there. And the entire concentration is there in these six chapters only. Levy and collection of GST, reverse charge mechanism, composition levy, exemption from tax. So guys, uh, in the study mat of the institute, you will find these three chapters together. In my study mat, which I have provided to, if you have taken classes from me, then I have split the chapter into three parts because I found that, you know, clubbing it into one chapter would be a little... Um, Yes. So I've clubbed, I've, I've buffered it into three parts. In your book, you'll find all these three in, in one chapter. Value and time of supply, input tax credit, computation of GST liability. So guys, six chapters, six chapters and your 80% syllabus is over. Only six chapters and your 80% syllabus of IDT is over. So these are the most important chapters of your syllabus. Please do these chapters very well. These are very, very important chapters which, um, uh, you know, command huge marks in the examination. Registration is a theory-based chapter. Return and payment of taxes again is a theory-based chapter. Tax invoice, e-way bill, uh, theoretically an important chapter. So please do these uh, chapters in a quick manner, uh, focusing on the theory portion because theory portion can be asked from these three chapters. All right. Uh, then, of course, Customs Act. Guys, in case of customs, valuation rules and computation of accessible value, um, a question from customs, a mandatory comes, comes in the examination. The best part is it's so easy, it's so simple, it's so straightforward and that this particular chapter or these, these marks are like free, you know, you can just get it out of a, a very minimal um, uh, effort, uh, quite a less an effort, you can get these marks very, very easy. So don't worry about um, these marks. These are easily, uh, you know, uh, you can acquire them easily uh, by doing minimal efforts. Only two chapters and that will cover your entire custom duty. But yes, for doing these two chapters, you have to do basic concepts. Otherwise, you won't be able to understand the um, entire chapter. So focusing on the A part first, okay. Then coming on to the B part and then finally to the C part. That is the strategy which I am proposing for IDT for all of you. And yes, again, I've made a uh, diagram like this, a chart like this, which will show that, you know, the concentration of marks is um, uh, within four or five chapters. These four or five chapters and the concentration of marks is within these four or five chapters. Of course, uh, one chapter of valuation of customs duty is important. Otherwise, these four or five chapters and your entire um, uh, indirect taxation is over. So yes, guys, a smart way of approaching this subject will um, uh, save you a lot of time, a lot of hassle, a lot of mental stress. It'll save a lot of time for all of you. Mental stress will be saved. So um, do not worry and make some smart move towards this subject. And I'm very, very sure if you make this um, kind of smart moves, 80 plus in this particular subject is uh, guaranteed. I'm very sure that if you follow these strategies and these steps, 80 plus is not a big deal. So, uh, let me discuss one final thing with you. 
and then I will be closing this video. The final thing is that I want to place before you a strategy, a sequence of events which you should follow while studying. All right. So sequence of events which you should follow while studying. So this particular chart will show you what to do first. All right. So the first step while studying, the first step is, um, you know, whatever coaching you've taken, either you've taken coaching from me or any other teacher. First, make all the notes and charts which the teacher has asked you to make during the class. All right. Now, uh, be very, very careful over here. The charts or the notes for the C category chapters are not to be drawn by yourself. Just take a printout and study from that printout. Don't give a lot of time on chapter C, uh, category C chapters. Just take a printout of the charts and study from the charts. So I'm specifically talking about my charts. So, um, you know, you have charts in the PDF format also, if you've taken my classes, take printouts of the charts, uh, which are the C category chapters. And for the A and B category chapters, don't take printouts, make it yourself in your register. So make summary notes and charts wherever required, wherever possible, make summary notes and charts and specifically for A and B category chapters. Then practical questions are to be done. CMA study mat, very, very important. If you have taken a, um, uh, taken classes from any teacher guys, please ensure that you are covering the CMA study mat entire CMS study mat, each and every question of CMS study mat should be there in your study mat, should be included in your studies. That is a must. So CMS study mat, theory question, practical questions should be studied from CMS study mat. Then practice questions. So if you refer to my book, then I've given after every chapter, I've given a list of practice questions, certain additional questions, which are solved questions, call them yourself and uh, do as much practice as you can. Past examination questions are definitely to be done through scanner. So guys, there's a uh, a scanner which comes from uh, uh, the publication of Shuchita Prakashan and that scanner will give you all the questions which have come in the past examination um, which have repeated in the past examination all those questions are compiled in one book scanner is required to be done although it will 90% be covered in the study mat also but still having that book gives you confidence that yes I'm able to solve the question which have come in the past exam as a confidence which is um, gathered using this particular Scanner. So scanner is required to be on minimum three times revision is um, mandatory before the examination guys. Um, please do three times revision before the examination of both DT and IIT. And you know, as you move forward, the second revision, the third revision, you know, in the third revision, uh, the C chapters should be revised in a very, very quick manner. Don't give a lot of time to C category chapters, the third revision. As you move from first uh, revision to third revision, your focus, your time employment on category C chapters will reduce proportionately. That is the benefit of having A, B, C analysis. In your first revision, you will give equal weightage to all the chapters. That is the ask. Okay. Then mock test papers are to be solved. Um, now guys, there'll be a test series, which will be started for all of you, um, uh, under my guidance, free of course, for all the CMA students, uh, two months before the examination, two months before the examination, just, um, a WhatsApp on this number number is 9643929913 there will be a test series which will start for all the cms students free of course for the my for my students of course it will be there for students who have not taken classes from me for them also free of course test series will start two months prior to the examination so just message on this particular number add me to the test series um, uh, group you will be added to the test series group. Mock test papers are required to be given for sure. Otherwise, you won't be able to, um, you know, judge whether your, your performance, your, um, your preparations are up to the mark or not. Then discipline, regularity, certain um, must-haves, okay? These are certain must-haves. Without these, you won't be able to achieve success, not only in DTIT, but financial accounting, costing law, everywhere. Uh, discipline is a must. Uh, you should be absolutely disciplined. You should be absolutely, um, uh, you know, um, focused and regularly you should study uh, study for two hours three hours four hours whatever time you are studying but study regularly don't have even a single day where you're not you are not studying then sacrifice of course guys at this point in time we need to sacrifice a lot we need to sacrifice um, our favorite netflix show we need to sac sacrifice meeting those special ones we need to sacrifice certain parties we need to sacrifice certain um, functions festivals well, let me tell you everything will be worth it at the end of the day sacrifice as much as you can it's really okay not to meet your special ones till the examination it's really okay because after the examination you're going to meet him or her 
with that golden words that you know i am a cmf finalist now so that will be a different feeling altogether so it's really okay to sacrifice certain things during this period your study period determination and perseverance are two things which are definitely required and both are you know a, a different face of the same coin and determination and perseverance um i know that subject is tough dtit is not easy i understand that i am teaching it for a, a very long time now i have um uh, more than 10 years of experience in practicing dt i have practiced dt in my office and i have uh, dealt with it day and night i know it's not easy at all but guys your grit your perseverance that no i am going to do it how come i am not able to solve it i'll solve it twice thrice four times five times six times definitely going to give you but if you quit no 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 i i am not able to understand pgb questions at all i'm leaving pgb chapter if you quit once it will become a habit so don't quit anything just uh, uh you know do everything and uh, through abc analysis give more focus on a uh, category things rather than c category things. even in the chapters guys so i'll give you an example salary chapter is a a category chapter but within the chapter within salary chapter also there is a portion which is retirement benefits which includes gratuity provident fund leave in cashment etc 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 that portion is relatively um uh, less important from an exam standpoint because a question from retirement benefits seldom comes in the exam so there's a ab analysis within the chapter also sir how would we know that within the chapter which topic is important which topic is not important guys scanner is the source where you will know that in salary chapter also retirement benefits is a little less important because um not many questions practical questions have been asked from this particular topic um in the past easy easy way to understand within the chapter also what's important what's not important and guys there are certain chapters from where question mandatorily comes for, for example residential status house property do it for sure even if it's b category do it for sure because a question will definitely be sitting in the examination from these chapters that has to be done no compromise so guys smart smart working is required at this point in time it's not cma foundation cma intermediate smart thinking is required at this point in time. determination perseverance of course consistency is one thing which is required you have to be consistent you have to be um uh, focused you have to be really gritty that no i'm not going to um uh, you know do anything during this period i'm just going to study and i know that you no know, um once a week or once in two weeks you will get those days where you will say uh, sir aaj to bilkul padhai ho hi nahi raha i'm not able to study at all today man hi nahi lag raha padhai mein matlab uh, question solve hi nahi ho rahe book khol ke baithe hain बट समझ ही नहीं आ रहा कि कहाँ से स्टार्ट करें कहाँ से एंड करें मतलब कुछ पढ़ दिमाग में घुस ही नहीं रहा दोज डेज विल डेफिनेटली कम आई दन और ट्वाइस वंस इन वन वीक और वंस इन टू वीक्स दोज डेज विल डेफिनेटली कम चेर इज दो डेज जस्ट बी रिलैक्सड गो फॉर अ स्ट्रोल गो फॉर अ वॉक और डू एनी थिंग विच यू लाइक विच यू लव ड्यूरिंग दैट वन डे रिलैक्स बिकॉज यू आर नॉट अ मशीन यू आर नॉट अ रोबो If you are a robot, you can work consistently for hours and hours and hours. You are not a robot. You are a human being, and you have the normal policies which are there with human beings. The normal, um, uh, you know, restrictions which human brain and human body has. You have all that. Please admire and appreciate them, and do not think that, oh, sir, I wasted one day of my um, uh, entire week. I wasted one day, and I didn't do anything in this. No, you have not wasted it. You have rejuvenated yourself. For the next week, but yes, you tell me that sir for 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 four days continuously in a week I don't study then that's a concern that's a problem guys okay don't say that for four days I I did not study don't say that yes and once a week or once in two two weeks you can definitely take an off um don't study at all during that entire day do whatever you want to do uh, in fact jot down all the things that you want to do on that particular day it it is like a cheat day okay do everything in that particular day. give yourself freedom of um, not studying in uh, that particular day and it's perfectly fine so using this smart techniques i'm very very sure that this herculean or this um, uh, mammoth subject which is direct and indirect taxation you'll be able to deal with it uh, very delicately delicately and diligently you'll be able to perform in the examination i'm very very sure you're going to attain 80 marks in this particular subject because guys um this job subject is actually not tough but dealing with it is tough so if you understand the way it is to be dealt with you'll uh, have the perfect score in your examination 
so yes this was the video uh, on direct and indirect taxation if you liked this video please comment in the comment section below uh, what did you like about this video and if you want me to make such videos for other subjects as well which of course which i teach group 2 i teach audit um, intermediate uh, final uh, cost audit bvm spm i teach so if you want me to make uh, videos like this for other subjects as well comment in the uh, comment section below if you have any other problem which you are facing these days discuss it with me i'll try to come up with a video which will benefit all and maybe uh, you know your recommendation might benefit other students as well on this positive note with a hope and pray that you know you are going to um, get the perfect score 80 which we have aimed in our examination with this master stroke prepare master stroke uh, preparation strategy all the very best and happy studying